I've been working on minimal landscapes for a few months now and I feel like I need a bit of a break today and I want and I crave to paint abstract pieces, not focus on rendering a subject matter or anything, purely abstract. I decided to take a workshop on abstract just because I love seeing other people's process. I think it's very interesting. I already took an abstract workshop last year, I think. It was uh, pouring acrylic paint in diluted, very diluted ways on a canvas on a tabletop. That was a lot of fun. So it's the same um, website. It's through Artify. I really like the way they presented things and there's different teachers. So I'm trying someone different today. Let me show you the process and then I'll show you the result and we'll talk about it. kind of flow like this feather maybe fade out to the side
The workshop was a ton of fun. There's something so liberating about just following instructions and seeing someone else's process as opposed to having a million possibilities in front of you and you like deciding every move. I didn't have to think, I just had to follow along and just be spontaneous about my choices, which was amazing. I fully recommend abstract painting workshops. I wouldn't say that abstract art is my first love or my passion. I wouldn't just do abstract, but I love it nonetheless because I find there's no other way to discover new mark making, new texture, new lines, new ways of doing things than concentrating on just an abstract piece without trying to render a subject matter. I think that delving into series of abstract painting could be very empowering, very useful to bring back those little bits of discoveries that you found through abstract into more figurative work and do kind of a hybrid between the two. That's what I love, love to do. So I needed a break from my minimal landscapes and that was just what I needed. I love the result. I think that I could have pushed through more with the painting, but I stopped where I was happy with it. Instead of risking pushing it too much where I would not really enjoy it, I stopped at a place where I was really happy with it. I love the color palette. I love the use of oil pastel throughout the painting in a subtle way to create line work. And as you can see, there's a lot of texture on the canvas and that's because it's an old canvas that I had that I covered up with gesso and I started a brand new abstract on it. I think that texture really adds to the subtle nature of the background without being too busy, there's still something going on. And I struggle with abstract art when I don't really have a plan or an idea or a point of inspiration. I'm good when I'm trying to render an idea or like a memory, a landscape, a place or a feeling and translating it into an abstract way. I can do that. But when I have a blank canvas and a bunch of colors and I'm supposed to just build it up aesthetically and spontaneously, I kind of get lost along the way and I don't know, I don't have anything to attach myself to and I find it difficult. But having a guided tutorial was really helpful and it showed me a way to slowly build up the canvas and reacting to the marks that I'm making and taking my time at every step of the way because I think that one of the things that I was doing wrong was trying to rush through the process and be too bold too fast instead of finding more of a calm and slower pace and work more on a small area at a time, building it up and appreciating different textures and color shifts. I was just trying to go too bold too fast with abstract. So that taught me a lot, just right there. I might add more stuff to the painting at some point, but for now I'm happy. I'm gonna let it sit, enjoy it, and see how I feel about it in a few days or a few weeks. I bought some paint and I'm really excited about it. There's a whole bunch of them. I'm gonna do swatches, show you what I got. But first, I want to fix the painting that I created last week. This one. I had a few options. Remember, we I went in Photoshop and I kind of gave you a few options on this here. If you haven't seen that, vlog go watch it before this just so that you're you don't get spoiled the uh, suspense i'm going to fix it i decided that i wanted to get rid of this green and i'm gonna i made a choice basically based on uh, the photoshop tries i'm not gonna tell you which color i went with I'm gonna let you guess what's your guess I'm gonna fix it now and then I'm gonna do the swatches of the new paint.
Did you guess? I decided to go with the lake. I think that it makes the sky pop. It makes the meadows pop. I feel like it's a good balance and I'm really happy with it. I might have to work like the edges around here, create a little bit of uh, green, but overall I'm there and I'm happy. These are the paints that I bought. There's tons of it and it's all different shades of beige. And you might wonder why I bought beige paint and it seems boring, but it's not boring. Let me swatch them. I'm going to show you that it's actually not boring and then I'll talk to you about why I bought those. Isn't it so fun to swatch paint and put it like really thickly on the paper? Mm, like cake icing, I love it. I was looking for pastel paint for a long time. I've talked about it before. In my landscapes, I find that my landscape end up being too punchy, like the colors are often very saturated for my own liking. I'm looking for something very pastel, very neutral, very calm quiet and soft and i have trouble getting there because when i mix paint i mix it too dark i know that in theory i could get any type of beige by buying a whole bunch of white and using pigment that i have but i find it really difficult to get there because on the color palette everything looks white but as you can see something that might look beige-ish or white can be very different depending on how you mix it but it's so hard to tell on the paint palette especially because acrylic dries a lot darker and I have a suspicion that some pigments might have a bigger shift between the wet and the dry version than other pigments as in some pigment might not change that much but some other ones might like darken a lot more it's just a theory amsterdam had a range of all types of super pale colors beige grayish and i bought them all if I had tried to mix a beige like this or like this or even a light green, I would have ended up with something closer to these colors, which are the darkest. Because on the paint palette, when it's wet, it, everything looks white. It's so hard to tell. So this way, I'll be able to have colors very pale. But not only that, I'll be able to have consistency if i need more paints or if i'm looking for a specific shade i'll be able to have consistency and i'm really really excited about it you have to agree with me that in the tube these colors look kind of whitish but also they kind of all look like the same color but as you can see they're really not the same color and in a painting, in a minimal painting, those very small color variations matter a lot. That's what creates 
depth in a painting. The only thing I'm missing now is colors like a purplish beige. Like there's one Naples yellow red that's more reddish but it's still more in the yellow family. So instead of having those pale colors in the yellow family, I would like to have some, a few more in the green family, green gray, and a few in the reddish fam family. So like pale brownish reds and pale purplish reds. Those are the ones that I'm missing. I think what I'm gonna do is mix a larger batch of a super pale color that I'm looking for and just keep it in a container, swatch it besides this and give it a name and label that container so that I have a full palette of pale pale neutrals. Also, this green is amazingly beautiful. It's called green gray. And it's a great example of how acrylic paint, how it dries darker, because this is not even fully dry, it's kind of half dry. And in the tube, it looks a lot paler. From my point of view here, it looks a lot paler. That's probably the only thing I really dislike about acrylic paint, the color shifting when drawing, because a lot of people dislike the fact that acrylic will dry too fast and they don't have enough time to blend. I don't mind that because I know that I could add open acrylic medium by Golden. This is magical stuff. If you want your acrylics to stay wet on the palette for a really long time, any acrylic paint brand golden open medium matte it works so if i want that i have my solution but most often i just want the paint to dry so that i could put more paint on my canvas and i'm impatient so i think that i prefer acrylic to oils in that sense if you like abstract art, I fully recommend the Artify workshops. Let me know if you have great recommendations for workshops. Dry pastel workshops would be amazing if you have some recommendations, but any types of workshop that you've taken that you really liked, leave me the recommendations. I'm on a workshop kick right now. I just want to soak in all the creativity and see how other artists work. If you'd like more inspiration, you can watch this one next and I will see you in just a few days for another one. Thanks for watching. Bye.